Now, still on the continuation of the tiles by, let's see some of the possible questions that you could ask using the word that is uh, obst. Now, obst simply means fruit. It is normally das obst. It is neuter. Yeah? Das obst, which now means fruit. So, here is the first question I could ask using obst. Someone could say, uh, Moshtest du das obst uh, kaufen? Or the anchor, Moshtest du das obst kaufen? Would you like to buy the fruit? Then I could say, Nein, danke. Nein, danke. No, thank you. Okay. Okay, I could also ask you this question. Um, wo kann ich das Obst kaufen? Wo kann ich das Obst kaufen? Where can I buy the fruit? Wo kann ich das Obst kaufen? Then someone could simply ask, uh, answer. Ich habe keine Idee. Ich habe keine Idee. I have no idea. Okay. Now, the good thing with the asking questions using the question or is that it is open-ended. One can answer it um, the way they want as long as it is grammatically correct. Okay. Okay. Let's look at another question you could still ask using the word obst. I could go ahead and ask, uh, uh, kostet das obst 200 euro? Kostet das obst 200 euro? That is, does the fruit cost 200 euros. I could say, oh, nein, das ist zu teuer. Oh, nein, das ist too, das ist zu teuer. Oh, no, that is too expensive or that is very expensive. Okay. I normally suggest when forming these questions, keep your questions brief and precise. Don't keep, the, don't ask too long questions. I prefer you keep them very short and very precise. So that you avoid having very long and vague uh, questions, okay? Okay, let me give some few more examples still using obst. Remember, to miss, uh, we've said that obst is fruit, okay? I could go ahead and ask, Wann haben Sie das obst gekauft? Wann haben Sie das obst gekauft? When did you buy the fruit? Someone could answer, gestern. Gestern, which now means yesterday. <clears throat> Gestern, which now means yesterday. Okay, another question still on obst. You could be asked, which fruit are you buying? That is a welches obst kaufst du? Welches obst kaufst du? Which fruit are you buying? Um, I could just say avocado. Avocado. Ist das Obst frisch? Ist das Obst frisch? Is the fruit fresh? I could say, ja, sehr frisch. Yes, very fresh. Another question. Liebst du Obst einkaufen? Liebst du Obst, or I could include the article, Liebst du um, ein Obst einkaufen? Do you like buying a fruit? And then someone could say, yeah, gerne. Yes, gladly. Well, of course. Okay. Now, let me just add two more questions still on Obst. Kann ich das Obst kaufen? Kann ich das Obst kaufen? Can I buy the fruit? Nein, das Obst ist nicht für... Das Obst ist nicht zu verkaufen. The, ob, uh, the fruit is not for sale. Okay. Okay, now here's the last question I'm going to ask on Obst. So the very last question I could ask is, uh, Bringen Sie das Obst heute? Are you bringing the fruit today? Bringen Sie das Obst heute? I could say, Leider nein. Unfortunately, no. Leider normal means unfortunately. Yeah? Leider nein. Unfortunately, no. Okay, so basically, what I've been doing so far is I give you a word and then I, uh, you try to form as many questions as possible from the word. Because as I said, once you get comfortable forming questions, it will be easy for you to uh, converse. Now, here's always my plea. And be sure you keep practicing. For those who are not yet uh, comfortable with the formation of questions, I'd suggest you please um, comment below for the full link of the video I did on formation of questions. And then again, 
those who need the classes follow the instructions given at the end of the video okay well then das ist alles für heute i'll be seeing you in the next one